This is our guide on where to put the base station for your smart mapping or LiDAR robot vacuum cleaner. This isn't a fully comprehensive guide, but it does address the most common issues. There are usually instructions inside the box, but they're usually a little too simple so as not to overwhelm. If you follow those basic instructions, the robot will likely still make it back to dock, no worries, but you may run into other, more complicated navigating issues. For example, the most common issue that we encounter is when the robot goes to start a clean, but it's not able to locate its position. This is because the robot doesn't save its maps on the device itself, rather they're saved in the cloud. Therefore, when the robot starts a new clean, it moves out from the base and it takes a 2D scan of the room and tries to match what it sees with one that's saved in the cloud. So our first big tip is to put the robot base in as static of an environment as possible. Try to limit any objects within a 3 meter radius of the base to be only fixed objects or walls. The most common issues are caused by items that can be left in different positions and change the shape of the room. The most common ones being doorways or curtains or dining chairs. If the shape of the room changes and the robot isn't able to match it with an existing floor plan, the robot will often return to base and refuse to clean. Our second point is similar but different. It's essential that you have the robot base firmly back up against a wall and it helps if you can have a perpendicular wall within its line of sight. This just helps the robot to have a wall to measure and take coordinates off. Tip number three is to try and avoid putting the base directly near any windows as the robot can often see through the window and not recognize it as a barrier. Number four, we recommend that you leave some space around the base. You particularly want at least a meter in front of the base and about half a meter either side. This isn't actually essential, but it does help the robot to maneuver and line itself up when it's returning to base. This is often the only thing mentioned in the manuals, and funnily enough, it's not essential, although you may want to consider it if you find you're having issues. And tip number five, we suggest that if you have a big house, you find a nice central location by distance so that the robot can get everywhere. Some robots actually have a maximum distance that they'll travel from the base, so if you find that it's not exploring those far extremities of the home, you may want to move it more central. Tip number six, it's important that you have good Wi-Fi coverage over the whole house, however it's super important that the base itself has good signal coverage. So to summarize, you want to put your base in a static location with its back firmly against the wall. You want a little bit of space for it to maneuver and be able to return home safely. You also want good signal coverage in a central location. In reality, you can often get away with just putting the base against any old wall and it will probably work. However, if you find that you are having troubles, you may have to delete the existing map and remap and follow this guide as closely as possible. 